so today I'm very excited to share with you some new stuff that I got from Makeup Geek. I know I just posted Friday a haul video. This was definitely not planned at all. I went on there to look for some Z palettes and then I saw um, some eyeshadows that I didn't have and then five new eyeshadows which is so exciting um, because I love Makeup Geek eyeshadows. So I'm going to start off with the new colors so that you guys can see um, what they are and then I'll do the last four of the shadows will be the ones that um, were just recently added back in stock. So as I mentioned in my other Makeup Geek video, if you haven't seen it, I will put a link on the screen. It's a complete um, review of all 57 eyeshadows that I had at the time. So these are just a continuation to that video. But the packaging is just adorable and I hate to have to throw these away because I did get the Z palettes for them. But this is just so stinking cute. I mean, look at that packaging. I love Damask print. So, five new eyeshadows. This is very exciting. Okay, so we're going to go with um, the blue colors first. There's two different blue colors and I haven't swatched these except for one of them um, which I would do towards the um, end because it didn't seem in person what it looked like online but it's still just a very beautiful shade. So the first one is called Glass Slipper. So this is what it looks like up close. I have not swatched these so I'm gonna be looking at this for the very first time like you are. Look at that, that is just really, really beautiful. And that's what it looks like swatched on the hand. So just a beautiful color. Let me show you guys again what that looks like. Just stunning. Okay, so the next one in the blue colors is Shark Bait. This one is really, really pretty. It's a matte teal, so let me go ahead and show you what that looks like up close. This next one is called Shark Bait, and it is a teal color, but it is matte, so Again, it's not going to have um, any sort of shimmer, but look at that. Just beautiful. There it is. And of course with mattes, um, you're not going to get um, really intense pigmentation, but she's done a phenomenal job with her mattes. I'm really, really impressed. So that's Shark Bait. Next is Pop Culture. This is a nice purple color. I remember saying in my last video um, that I did with the Makeup Geek colors, I wish there were more like colors, like brighter, like purples. And then this eventually was launched a couple of weeks later. So look at that. That's just so beautiful. So I'll show you what that looks like and swatches too. This next one is called Pop Culture. And it's just such a beautiful iridescent um, purpley color. Let me do a little swatch here for you. Just beautiful. And then that's a swatch there. So again, there it is. This next one is called Barcelona Beach and this one is a kind of like a medium tan. It's supposed to be like the sand. Um, the swatch on the website looks a little bit lighter so it definitely is darker in person and of course every video and lighting situation is going to make it appear differently. Um, but it's still really really beautiful and they describe the color as being kind of similar to some of her other neutrals from her line so um, this is a good color to have for you know blending in the crease and the lower lash line. So I'm going to show you what that looks like up close. This one is called Barcelona Beach and this is another matte shadow. Super soft and creamy. Very very pigmented as you can see. And then I'll do, I'll show you a little swatch of that one. It's like a, like a medium brown. And then Rockstar. This one is by far probably the one I'm most excited for. It's a pale kind of silver color but it has like a purpley iridescent to it so it's very very unique. It's not like anything that I have. It's just gorgeous and it's just so beautiful. I cannot wait and it's creamy, buttery and smooth. So let me show you an up close on this one. Here is Rockstar a little bit up close and it's kind of like a pale silver but it does have um, a little bit of an iridescent color. Let me do my pinky here because my other fingers are stained. Um, so it's very, very smooth, very rich and luxurious feeling. And then that's it right there. Ooh. There it is. So it has a little bit of that purpley sheen coming from it. Very, very unique. Such a gorgeous color. I cannot wait to wear this one and I'll show you again. 
Okay, so those were all the five new shadows. I don't know if they're permanent or if they're just for like a summer thing because those are very summery colors, but they're just so beautiful. I mean, you can do all of the colors except for the purple in one look because you have that Barcelona sand to help kind of add some depth and kind of ground those brighter blues. But those colors are stunning. I love them. So I did get four other colors that weren't in stock when I placed my order, I think back in early April. And so I have um, four that I'm going to show you. So the first one is uh, Razzleberry. So this one just recently came back in stock and it is very intense. And I again, I haven't swatched any of these. But it's like a, kind of like a pinky red color with some golden flecks. So let me show you up close. Here is Razzleberry. And again, it does feel like they're, the flecks, you can actually feel them. But that is some crazy pigmentation for it being a color that has those kind of like um, golden flecks. There you go. See if you, there it is. See how beautiful that is? And so let me just swatch it here on the back of my hand. Gorgeous. Definitely have to find a way to make this more wearable. <laughs> this one is called Chickadee. And this is one of the other ones that I didn't have um, that were out of stock then. And I'll do a swatch here for you. It's like kind of like a goldeny, um, yellowy orange color. And it is matte. Look at how pigmented that is. That is craziness. And that's Chickadee. And there it is in the pan form. This next one is called Goddess, and this is one that wasn't in stock as well. Oh, this feels so incredibly smooth. Oh my gosh. It's like a rusty kind of coppery red color. Look at that. That is just so beautiful. I cannot wait to wear it. It kind of similar to in tones of the colors that I'm wearing today, but that is just, oh, I love it. Dirty Martini, and as the name suggests, this is like a dirty martini, like a dirty olive color. Um, I do have her other ones kind of similar to this, but that is the color there. Look how pigmented this is. I just can't get over it. Look at that. Just beautiful. Now I'll show you again. That's Dirty Martini. Okay, so those were all the eyeshadows. Those were nine eyeshadows. I am just so over the moon with these. And like I said, if you haven't seen the other video that I posted, definitely check it out because these are worth the investment. They're $5.99 for the um, little pans. If you want them with like a little compact and a lid so you can travel with them, those are $7.99. So those are all the eyeshadows. Now I did get three brushes. Um, I was only going to get one, but then I saw the other two and so I decided, what the heck, why not? Um, so the first one, I haven't used these yet. Um, it says that you're supposed to wash them before using them, but I do like the handle. It's got a nice, very sleek, charcoal, metallic charcoal handle. has a Makeup Geek logo, and then it tells you what the brush is. This one is the Outer V brush, so it's really small. So this is the Outer V brush, as you can see. It's very similar to like a pencil brush, but um, it's a lot more dense and there's more bristles. The pencil brushes, they tend to be a little bit skinnier, but that one is just perfect for um, getting in the outer corner of the eye. So this outer V brush would be good to get in the outer corner here and then kind of sweep the color in. I've seen Marlena's tutorials. Um, I've been a fan of her since she first started YouTube. I think it must have been like six years ago. But I've seen videos, where I think it's this brush that she does a complete look. Um, highlight, crease work, outer V, lid, with all this, this one brush, and I think it's this one. The next one is one that I have been looking for a brush similar to this, an angled brush that I can use to kind of get into my crease and kind of buff the color out and then inner corner and all that stuff. So this is the Eye Blender brush, and it's angled, so it adds um, a little bit of a point on one end so you can really get that defined crease. So this is the Eye Blender brush. As you can see, it's slanted a little bit so that point there can actually be used to do like a cut crease just you know regular um, shadows in the crease nothing too fancy you can use the tip of it to um, highlight in the inner corner of the eye you can also use that to do a little bit of contouring as well on the sides of your nose so I think this will be a very um, multitask brush for me so it's really soft and we'll see how it goes after I wash them and use them a couple times Okay, and so for the last Makeup Geek brush, 
It's the Soft Dome Brush. So this is more of like a crease brush. It's a little bit skinnier at the base, but then it comes to like a point and has like some nice tapered um, bristles. And it's really, really soft. And I wanted this to get more precise crease work because um, a lot of times I use something very similar to this one. This is a Sigma one, and so let me just show you. Sigma one from a distance, you can already see how thick and fluffy and big this is. Sometimes if you have smaller eyes or you want more precise work, you want to get something a little bit smaller. So this one I think is going to be perfect for getting in that crease. So let me show you up close. So here is that soft dome brush and hopefully you can see there. It's got that point really, really soft and it keeps its nice shape no matter how hard you're on it. But we'll see how this works um, once I wash it and use it a couple times. But as you can see, hopefully you can catch that little point there that really adds color in the crease but also helps get more precise application with it as well. So each of these brushes were $7.99, which I think is really perfect and I think it's on point for the quality of them. I haven't used them, so I will be doing kind of like an update video. I have to wash them like the instructions say, and then I'm going to do some work with it, use them in tutorials, and then kind of do a little bit of a follow-up on these brushes because the quality seems to be good. The price is just right. She does have face brushes as well, a kit of, uh, I think it's five face brushes for like $44.99. So her face brushes are a little bit more expensive. Um, all of the eyeshadow ones are $7.99, but the face ones, they're still affordable. I think the most expensive one is maybe like $18, bucks, and that's for like a big, big boy like this one. So um, I will put the link below so you can check it out. Okay, so for the last couple things, um, I did get the Z palettes to put these in. Um, I felt like I needed to do that before I started moving just because I didn't want to move with all these like eyeshadows just all over the place so um, I got the Z palettes it does come with the little magnets for you to add to them but I got three of the um, Makeup Geek exclusive Z palettes these are specifically designed by Makeup Geek that's what it says on the back um, but this is just the Damask print as you can see it's like black but then it has like a deep raspberry Damask which I love that print so these were um, $19.99 a piece so I have three of them that's what I need to put all of my eyeshadows because I have a lot. So I'm going to put these in probably today. That's going to be my project for, um, yeah, probably going to do that today. So, so far they seem to be really well made. This is my first purchase for Z palettes. So I'm really excited to put those together. Um, if you want to see what it looks like, I'll probably post a picture on Instagram once I put them all together because I think it's going to look really good with all my eyeshadows in it. So. That is all the rambling for today. I hope that this video was helpful. Um, if you haven't seen my video from Friday, it is a haul video of things that I got from Ulta, Sephora, and Target. So definitely check it out. I'll put the little photo here. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any sort of comments or feedback that you want to leave, I'm more than happy to respond to you. If you have any sort of video request for tutorials with the Makeup Geek or any product that I've shown you recently in videos, please leave it in the comment section and I will do that for you. Thanks again for joining me for this video and I hope that you guys are having a fantastic Memorial Day and hope that your weekend was really wonderful. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye.